Our lives can get pretty hectic, and we don't always have time to sit in front of the FM dial looking for DX. But we don't have to. Thanks to Software Defined Radio, we can autolog FM DX. I'll show you what you need and how to set it up next on Broken Signal. Before we get started, make sure to give the video a like and hit the subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. For this project, we are going to assume you already have an SDR installed and have SDR Sharp and VB Cable installed. If not, I have put links to the videos on installing them from my YouTube channel below. We'll start by getting RDS Spy installed and configured so we can decode RDS. For this, we need to add the MPX output plugin to SDR Sharp that allows us to take the RDS signal from SDR Sharp to RDS Spy. RTLSDR.ru has all the plugins we need. To simplify this, I'll put a link to the MPX output plugin below. After you download the file, let's extract it. Then we'll copy the DLL and paste it in our SDR Sharp directory. Next, we need to open the plugins XML file with Notepad. Then we'll go back to the MPX output folder and open up magicline.txt file. Copy that line and we'll paste it into the plugins XML file and save. Now we'll go to rdsspy.com, click Downloads, and click to download RDS Spy. Once the download finishes, run the executable and follow the installation process. Next, we'll launch SDR Sharp and configure MPX Output and RDS Spy. Click on Menu, then select MPX Output. Then under Audio Device, select Cable Input. Make sure the plugin is enabled. Then we can close the plugin. Now launch RDS Spy. Click Configure, then click Select RDS Source. Under Settings, Input Audio Device, select Cable Output. Under Sound Card Input, select Direct RDS. Now click Mixer. Select Cable Output and click Properties. Click the Advanced tab. Select 192,000 kHz. Click OK. Now do the same under the Playback tab. Click OK when done. Then click OK on Select RDS Source. Now start SDR Sharp, tune to a station, and you should see RDS Spy working. If you're having problems, take a look at the status window. You can open it under View. Make sure Peak Input Signal says OK. If not, try restarting SDR Sharp in RDS Spy. The basic RDS panel will show you details that have been decoded. Now let's make the log file easier to import into Excel. Click on Configure, then Options. Click on Logs. You can set where to create the log file. Under Templates, make sure it is Single SRT. Now click Edit. Put a comma after every item. Then click Close. Now, after you have logged some stations, you could open Excel. Navigate to where the log file is stored. The import wizard will pop up. In the import wizard, select Delimited. Click Next. Change it to Comma. You can see in the preview it will be imported correctly. Click Next. Change the first column to Date. Go ahead and change the rest of the columns to Text.
click Finish. The file will now open and you'll be able to sort and filter the log stations. Now let's set up a scanner so it can automatically log stations. RTLSDR.ru has a nice scanning app and I'll put a link to download below. Extract the file. Copy the DLL and paste it into the SDR Sharp directory. Now open the plugin's XML file. Go to the plugin folder and open the PDF. Scroll down and copy the magic line. Go back to Plugins XML and paste it in and then save and close. Open SDR Sharp. Click Menu then select Frequency Scanner. Click Edit Scan Ranges. Enter FM Band for Name, 87500 for Start, 108 for End, WFM for Detector, 300 Bandwidth, 200 for Step Size, and 1 for Group. Click OK. Now click Configure. Check Auto Skip and set it to 10 seconds. Check Select Channel with Maximum Level. Click OK. Now click Scan. The scanner will show on the bottom. Ignore the yellow line, but adjust the red line to the maximum station strength you would like the scanner to stop on. Now open RDS Spy and watch as it scans and logs stations. Let it run and check your logs for DX. Wow, that was a lot. We made it to the end. Congratulate yourself by clicking the like button and hit subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.